everyone, so today I'm going to be showing you how to style a dark lip and how I like to style it and yeah, it's pretty simple and uh, not going to have loads of looks or anything, it's just going to be like one or two that I like to do because a dark lip is quite bold and difficult to, like for some people it's quite difficult to pull off in a way or be confident to wear it so yeah, this is how I do it and let's get into it. So first I'm going to be taking my lip liner and I'm taking the YSL, um, it's like a purpley lip liner in shade 11. Then I'm going to be taking Sin by MAC and Rebel on top of it. And Rebel's a purpley red and then Sin is a very matte dark red. So I'm going to apply the lip liner first as a base because with dark lipstick it's very easy to make mistakes and also when a tiny line or a little crack shows up at the edge it shows up a lot more with dark colours compared to light colours so it's best to start with a dark lip liner and then go over it with lipstick because it is a lot easier to apply then and you make less mistakes so that's the lip liner and I'll be putting on Sin by MAC and it's a matte lipstick And actually I think I'm going to leave it at that and just use Sin because I thought it would end up a bit lighter than this but it, well, no it don't. So I love putting like a dark lip line, dark purple lip liner with a dark red because it gives it a bit more of a vampy look to it, kind of a dark ready purpley mix of things. And yes I like it. And I thought I'd show you the lip first and then show you two different things that I do with the eyes to match it for a daytime look sort of bang. Yeah. Now the dark lip, because you want those crisps, ed crisps, 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 crisp edges, you want to line it with some concealer to make it pop and also to give it a clean finish. So I'm taking my MAC, oh, I was going to say MacBook Pro then, it's because I was playing on it earlier probably. My MAC Pro Concealer, that's the one, that is the one. MAC Pro Concealer. Oh no it's not, I can't speak. MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NC15. Only thing about MacBook Pro, MacBook, oh my God. MAC Pro Longwear Concealer is that the pump kind of, you can't control it, you can't slowly press it so you can give like half of them. It like kind of, it almost clicks so it always pumps out a whole pump and I never ever use a whole one which is really annoying. And I'm taking a Morphe brush and it came in a set so it doesn't have a name, I'm really sorry but it's just really small. That's nothing special, just a little small brush. And I usually start in the middle, I apply it in the middle, then I drag it outwards and then blend it out. I dab it off on my hand in between because as you can see you do get little, if you touch your lip obviously you'll get a little bit of colour on your brush but then when you go back with the concealer it'll make the concealer pinky and all disgusting so make sure to wipe off it every time. Now you see you have a really crisp line around it and this side is showing up a lot lighter than it actually is but yes I like it when it's concealed it makes it pop and look very clean yeah and next my favorite way of wearing it with an eye of course if you have an eye you wear it with an eye every day anyway I mean the work Oh my god, I can't speak today. I mean, the thing I like to do most of my eyes to match lips in the daytime is um, just a plain old winged eyeliner. I love it. I just love no eyeshadow, nothing, just a winged liner with it. So I'm going to use my Maybelline Master Precise Liquid Eyeliner. And I'm just going to line my eyes with it. <laughs> I film a video, I don't know why, because I prefer on myself kind of 
this sort of shape but a bit thinner oh well it works anyway so usually I'd apply mascara by now but obviously I'm going to show you the next look after this and yes yeah, so this is it with eyeliner I like this this is probably my favorite because it's quite simple but edgy at the same time now keeping the liner what I like to do if I want to add a little bit of something to it is add the littlest bit of eyeshadow just to add something to the eyes I guess but not make it too heavy because of like I said before heavy top heavy bottom no no so taking a Morphe brush that's again from a set has no name some of them do some of them don't I'm going to be taking my N Naked 3 palette and putting the lightest shade all over my lids which is strange taking a fluffy brush like this and this is the Morphe M441 and it is lovely and I'm taking Limit which is just a taupey which is a light kind of taupey colour and just putting that in the crease and sweeping it across Then I'm taking a teeny little brush and I'm taking Trick and I'm going to wet my brush first because it's a slightly shimmery eyeshadow and I'm popping that in the inner corner. Now you can leave it at this if you want to and add mascara but you can add a little bit more intensity to it. Intensity to it, I can't speak today. Um, and I'm taking a Morphe M505 brush, which is a tapered brush with a big pointy. It's kind of lost its shape a bit after, after washing it first, you know. And then I'm taking Nuna, which is like just a tad bit darker than Limits, basically the same colour, just darker. And I'm popping that in the crease. And then to finish the eye look off, I'm taking my Chanel mascara, and I love this mascara because it's lengthening and parts the lashes individually, so they look very nice and spread out. Because I don't like clumpy lashes at all. Now you can skip this step if you want, but I'm going to put some false lashes on. And they're the Ayo Texture Number no. 17 or 117. I am wrong. Wispy, long and fluffy. I'm going to apply my Duo Lash Adhesive. And here is the finished look. So yeah, it's quite glamorous and striking, but you can wear it in the day, you can change it up and wear it in the evening. If you just add like a little bit of darker eyeshadow, and it would be perfect to go out. And yeah, I just love this look. It's kind of, it's wearable, it's quite easy. You don't have to put loads and loads of effort into it. The thing that takes longest is probably the lips. But as long as you leave enough time in the morning, you can do it. You can do it. But yeah, it's beautiful and classic. I feel classic in this. Off my hand. No, it's not classic. Or classy. Classy. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you in the next video. Bye. Then I'm going to be taking Sin by MAC and a little bit of red. Blah.